Insights from Daniel Lieberman and Michael Long's The Molecule of More, brought to you by InstaRead. Our brain is governed by several chemicals, the down chemicals, which allow us to either enjoy the present, and the up chemicals, which give us the desire to pursue new things. They reward us when we fulfill that desire and punish us when we do not. One of the up chemicals is known as dopamine. It is a chemical in our brain that gives us pleasure and helps us learn. It motivates us to seek out new things. It is why we explore. It is the molecule of more. Insight number one. Dopamine is often associated with feelings of pleasure. However, recent studies have shown that it has a much more powerful effect on behavior, enabling humans to create art, pursue success, make new discoveries, express spirituality, and fall in love. The release of dopamine is a reaction to promising surprises and unexpected events. The reason love fades is because, with time, the possibilities no longer seem endless and everything becomes familiar. What was once unexpected becomes expected, and experiencing a dopamine rush becomes less Number likely. 12. Dopamine Number influences two. whether As we humans, work hard for our we all rewards have certain or take expectations the easy way when it out. comes to our future. The more when an event occurs that far exceeds these expectations, we experience a rush known as reward prediction error. The phrase, my cup runneth over, comes from this experience. Number three, sometimes we think we're experiencing something new, when in reality, it's just another dopamine rush. For example, we may think our new partner is the one, just as we thought our previous partner was also the one. Number four, just because the dopamine rush we got from our relationship ended does not mean our relationship has to end too. Relationships require effort, which can be difficult for some people who would rather opt out because it's easier. Some people are not in active pursuit of the one. Rather, they are in constant pursuit of a dopamine rush fueled by multiple relationships and sex with different partners. However, once they discover that dopamine is tricking them, they might decide to end this cycle. Number five, dopamine can never be satisfied no matter how good things are going for us at the moment. Fortunately, our brain isn't only governed by dopamine, it is also governed by the down chemicals, serotonin, oxytocin, endorphins, and endocannabinoids. These chemicals allow us to derive pleasure from the present moment. Number six, passionate love is dopamine-fueled love that is exciting, although temporary. Compassionate love, on the other hand, is fueled by the down chemicals, which ensure we are enjoying and treasuring the intimacy and trust we formed with our partner. It is the key to long-lasting relationships. Number seven, the dopamine system is, from an evolutionary perspective, what has helped us survive it is constantly on the lookout for food, shelter, and sex. Dopamine does this by creating the feeling of desire. So when you want something, it is not a conscious choice, but a reaction to your environment. Number eight, people who are addicted to dopaminergic stimulation often tend to avoid the present and become consumed by all the possibilities the future holds. They become so immersed in the world of their imagination that they forget to savor the present. Number nine, the future is a fantasy. It doesn't really exist. It's just a bunch of possibilities. The present, however, is real. It is experienced. Dopamine makes us constantly want things, whereas the here and now neurotransmitters, the down chemicals, allow us to appreciate them. Number 10, drugs are used to artificially release dopamine in great amounts regardless of what kind of situation the user is in. This rewires the brain in a way that makes it think that drugs are the answer to every situation. This is why addiction happens. People often believe that the pleasure they derive from drinking alcohol is due to intoxication. However, dopamine is released only during the early stages of alcohol consumption. These are characterized by increased energy and pleasure. Intoxication does not cause pleasure, 
only sedation and bad judgment. When we are expecting a reward, our dopamine levels rise. When the reward fails to materialize, the dopamine levels rapidly drop, causing us to feel horrible. This is how drug addicts feel when they no longer have access to drugs, and it's why getting sober is a struggle. The brain releases dopamine when it is exposed to sexual things. Addiction to pornography and compulsive sexual behavior develop as a result of easy access to sexual content on the internet. Easy access is a huge issue when it comes to addiction. More people get addicted to cigarettes and alcohol than illegal drugs because they are easily accessible. Thus, the best way to minimize the issues caused by these substances is to make them more difficult to obtain. Number 11. We think of ourselves as rational creatures when we really are not. Often, we pursue things that are harmful to us, like drugs and gambling. The dopamine desire circuit greatly influences our decisions, yet we still possess the power to oppose it. This power comes from the dopamine control circuit. The dopamine desire circuit is the source of our desire. The dopamine control circuit exists to calculate which desires are worth fulfilling and which are the most beneficial to us. It allows us to strategize and plan ahead more carefully. The dopamine control circuit is what makes you want to learn. It's what makes you want to do well in school, find out how things work, and get good at something. The dopamine control circuit drives us to seek domination over our environment through careful planning and tenacity. However, people with too much control dopamine become addicted to achievement and are unable to enjoy the rewards that come with it. Number 12. Dopamine influences whether we work hard for our rewards or take the easy way out. The more dopamine you have, the more you are motivated to work hard for your goals, regardless of how tough it gets. Number 13. An agentic relationship is when people get together to achieve a certain goal. It is powered by dopamine. An affiliative relationship, on the other hand, is all about having fun and enjoying social interactions. It is powered by oxytocin and endorphins. Number 14. The dopamine system is responsible for mental time travel. Mental time travel is the ability to imagine yourself in the future and predict how you will feel. Number 15. The reason dreams can be so bizarre and unrealistic is because when we're asleep, our dopamine circuits stay active, whereas our here and now circuits are blocked because we're not perceiving the real world. Dreams are like psychosis in that aspect. People who are awakened from a dream can produce longer and more complex stories than those who had a dreamless sleep. That is because dreams can enhance creativity and be a source of inspiration. Dream incubation is the practice of asking your subconscious mind to solve problems for you while you sleep. Number 16. High levels of dopamine suppress the here and now circuits, which are essential for understanding social cues and having empathy. That is why most geniuses and artists do not excel in social situations. They have too much dopamine and not enough here and now chemicals, which also puts them at risk for mental illness. Number 17. Humans would have gone extinct if it weren't for the presence of dopamine. It is what pushed them to explore unknown territory and helped them survive and adapt. It is what led them to migrate and spread their genes across the globe. Survival of the fittest is a concept that was developed by Charles Darwin. It refers to the idea that, in nature, only the strongest and most adaptable organisms survive long enough to reproduce. Often, it is those with high dopamine who find it easiest to adapt. Number 18. Dopaminergic people tend to have unstable relationships and avoid situations which require cooperation. They are the lone wolves of the tribe, which decreases their chances of survival against a group of people helping each other. Still, that didn't prevent them from mating. Number 19. Excess dopamine has also led many people to lose interest in having a family because it costs a lot of money. 
Instead, they could spend their hard-earned cash on traveling, buying clothes, and eating at fancy restaurants. If less couples give birth, humanity will inevitably go extinct. Number 20. The only way to save ourselves is to overcome our obsession with excess and learn to be grateful for what we have. We need to bring back balance between dopamine and here and now. We hope you enjoyed the insights from Daniel Lieberman and Michael Long's The Molecule of More. If you liked this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Visit instared.co to get more insights from this and thousands of other books. Use the code YouTube to get a discount on your subscription.